Let's change the outer and inner tie rods on this BMW 5 Series GT today. I'm going to show you in detail how to change the outer and the inner one as well. The problem is, that, or the thing is, that it's not going to be an official way to do it because more likely I will need to use an angle grinder here and cut it in half because I cannot get it loose, can't get this uh, nut loose. So that's why I'm going to use an angle grinder. So now I'm going to undo this nut. This is a size 21 hex nut. I'm going to use a size 21 hex socket on it and an impact gun. And after, I'm more likely will have to use the, there's the regular spanner and a Torx bit or a Torx insert to keep this one from moving and undo the nut that way. Okay, so I didn't need to use the spanner and the Torx bit because I was able to undo the nut with the impact gun itself. So now it is loose, I'm gonna just remove it and then put it back and undo this nut as well. So as you can see, I cut this one in half here where the threaded, threaded part is. Usually how you undo it, here is this nut. I think it is size 24, but I'm not quite sure on that one. So basically you grab a spanner and undo the, the nut just a little bit and then you can twist off from the thread you can twist off the outer tie rod end but well, it wasn't the case this time because this was so stuck so i couldn't undo it and even though if i was able to undo it i wasn't i wouldn't be able to spin this one off so that's why i cut it in half here and there as well because i will need to fit my special tool on that one in order to remove it from the steering rack so let me show you how to remove it. So now we need to remove this rubber boot from the inner tie rod end. We need to remove this clamp first, slide it off, and there is another clamp in the rear or in the back. I will remove that one as well and show it to you. And I'm gonna not gonna reuse this rubber boot. I have a brand new one, so I'm gonna refit a new one. That's why I'm gonna cut this one in half so that I will be able to remove it easier. So let's remove the first clamp. Okay, the first one is off. So here is the rear one. I just undone it with a screwdriver, with a flathead screwdriver. And now I'm gonna cut the rubber boot in half so that I can slide it off. And now I have access to the inner tire rod end. I'm gonna use a special tool in order to remove the this nut or break it loose. I will show you that. So here it is from underneath. As you can see, there is the nut for the inner tire rod end. You can undo it from underneath if you remove this plastic piece. But, and then that way you don't need a special tool. But anyways, you will need a quite big spanner. I think that is a size 36 or 37. I'm not quite sure on that one. So you would need a very big spanner and undo it that way. Or you can do it my way. I will show you the special tool for that and how to undo it and remove it the inner tire rod end. So here is the special tool. Basically, it has three adapters. I chose the appropriate one which fits on the nut I'm gonna undo. So you put this big one onto the nut and slide over the whole rod, the whole tie rod. And here you either use a spanner or just a regular ratchet. I'm gonna use a half inch ratchet and undo it that way. I'm gonna sh show you real quick what I mean by that and how to do it. So here is the new one, we are going to refit it the same way as we removed the old one. So basically, I'm going to thread it this one first, and then I'm going to use that tool to, to fasten this end of the tire rod end. And I'm going to put the outer one onto the, this thread and going to lock it with this locking nut. So let me show you how to do it. So just basically thread this one in first. So I'm going to use a special tool again, put it over the rod and then tighten it with this method.
Okay, once it is tight, you can remove the tool. So now you can fit the rubber boot onto the tie rod. Use the clamp provided in the kit. And then use a special pliers to tighten the clamp. Okay, now it is tight enough, you can do the outer clamp. Squeeze it even with your fingers and pull it over. And that's it, it's done. Now, you, now we can fit the outer tie rod end and then reassemble everything back together. So have the locking nut threaded back on the tie rod. You should have measured uh, the distance from the thread end to the nut where it was before dismantling everything so you can put back quite or nearly the same way as it was before in our case it doesn't matter because this car has to go on the wheel alignment anyways because the wheel alignment is so off it eats the tires anyways but after this job you should go to the wheel alignment shop and get the wheel alignment done on your car as well because this will put off the alignment of the car of the wheels so now as it is put back as far as it was before i can twist back the outer tire at the end onto the rod so here is the new one and as you can see it has a cone shaped nut so put the cone shape towards the tire at the end this way and you can start to thread it in or twist it on the inner tire once it has reached the desired position you can lock it it with the locking nut it was a size 22 spanner and lock it you can also fit this end back to the knuckle so it won't spin when you are tightening the locking nut and now you can tighten the locking nut Okay, now it is tight enough, you can tighten the outer tie rod end nut. It is a 22 mil as well, so use a 22 mil spanner and tighten it. So have it tightened all the way you could, so it is snug. And now you can put back the wheel, you are done with the job. But the last thing and very important is to go to the wheel alignment shop and get your wheels aligned. So that way the car won't consume any more tires, so you can save some money for yourself.